I today no long talk. Let's go straight to the point. Okay, so let's solve for the value of x. So let's first of all divide through by six. Okay, now when we do that, we are going to have that x to the power of three is equal to what one. Okay, now let's transfer this to the other side of the equation. If we do that, this plus one, when you transpose it to this side, becomes minus one, okay? So we are going to have x to the power of three minus one is equal to zero. Now, recall that one to the power of three is also equal to one, okay? So that means that x to the power of three minus one to the power of three is equal to zero. So we are asked to find the three values of x here. Now, first thing we need to do is to recall the algebra identity, okay? This algebra identity states that a to the power of three minus b to the power of three is equal to a minus b, okay? Multiplied by a squared plus a b plus b squared. Now, uh, in this case, our A is X and our B is 1. So, we are going to express this in this form. So, we can now write that this is equal to A minus B, right? That is X minus 1, bracket, A squared, that is X squared, plus AB, that is X multiplied by 1, which is still X, plus B squared, that is 1 squared which is still 1, all right, is equal to 0. All right, now we can write that x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. All right, so from the first equation, we can see that x is equal to, if we transpose 1 to the other side, it becomes plus 1, all right? So this is the first value of our x. Now for the second value, I would like you to watch the end of the video and see how we substituted what we got into this equation to prove that our solution is right, okay? So the first value of x is 1. Now let's solve for the rest. Looking at this equation, we cannot solve this equation using the quadratic equation formula. Okay, sorry, using factorization method. Rather, we are going to make use of the quadratic equation formula. So we are going to write, normally, the ideal quadratic equation is in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So from here, we can see that a is equal to the coefficient of x squared. So in this case, our a is one, right? So we say that a is equal to one. Our uh, b is 1 as well, the coefficient of x. So b is equal to 1. And our uh, c is also 1. <laughs> so c is equal to 1. Now we are going to use the quadratic equation formula, which says that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Okay? So we have that x is equal to... So our b is 1, so it's going to be minus 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is 1 squared, which will give us 1, right? Minus 4ac, that is 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1, divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So we have that x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus Square root of 1 minus 4 divided by 2. So we have that x is minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 3 divided by 2. Okay, if you have not subscribed to the channel and this is the first time I have seen this face, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it, okay? So please subscribe and turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are tuning in so that you won't miss other interesting and lovely videos that I will be uploading. Now look at what we have here. When you look at this, notice that we have two values of x here, okay? But first, note that we can rewrite root minus 3 as this. So we can rewrite this that x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 3 
multiplied by square root of minus 1. That is minus 3, right? Divided by 2. That means that our x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3i divided by 2. So we can say that the second value of x is minus 1 plus root 3i divided by 2. And the third value of x is minus 1 minus root 3i divided by 2. Now, it's time to check, okay? Let's go ahead and check to see if what we solved is right. Now, the first value of our x is 1, right? We got the first value as 1. Now, let's check. We have 6 brackets, 1 to the power of 3, right? Is equal to 6. That is what we... That is the original equation. Now, let's see. 6 multiplied by 1 to the power of 3 will still give us 1 is equal to 6. Now, 6 times 1 is 6, and 6 is equal to 6. So, since this one is equal to this, that means that what we solved is correct. Thank you so much for watching, and have a lovely day.